problem in Europe is insufficient spending. We need more investment spending, we need more consumer spending, because in simple terms, the European economy is able to produce more than it is currently spending. Right? And that is causing an unemployment rate that is too high and an inflation rate that is too low, threatening the risk of deflation. And a high unemployment rate and deflation carries huge social and economic costs. What am I actually proposing? So the proposal is very simple. In order to meet its objective of price stability, which was defined by the ECB under the intellectual guidance of Otmar Issing as being an inflation rate at close to 2%, in order to meet that mandate, I think the, the, most, uh, the highest probability of success is that the European Central Bank would make transfers directly to the bank accounts of households within the Eurozone. It is plausible that we would need to transfer something like 2 to 5% of GDP, which would be equivalent to something like 600 to 1,500 euros per capita. That's the order of magnitude that we're talking about. Now, I want to be very clear that although this is an innovation in monetary policy, it is not an innovation in conventional economics. This is a very, very straightforward, well-rehearsed and well-established economic policy. Virtually no serious economist denies that this policy would work. Okay? So we have a wealth of empirical evidence that this policy works. And when I say works, I mean it raises demand, it raises spending. The attraction here of this policy is it is entirely fair. Okay? It discriminates against no interest group. It's not saying I'm going to favor borrowers, lenders, old people, young people. It is treating everybody equally and saying that uh, all European citizens should benefit in the same way from a monetary stimulus, should be benefit equally from monetary stimulus. And not only that, we will not try and force them to do something that they don't want to do, which is essentially what policies are currently trying to achieve. We will allow them to decide how they want to spend the money. The ECB remains independent. Um, it is not financing fiscal activity, so it requires no coordination with the Treasury, and it is actually a prerequisite for the ECB to meet its objectives of price stability. Europe has to show leadership and innovation. And Europe, do you know what's going to happen? The most depressing thing is another country will do this, and we'll copy them afterwards, having waited for two or three years and wasted economic, social and human resources. That is an absolute disgrace. There's an opportunity here. Actually, the legal system in Europe is better placed to do this than in the United States. But we're going to wait for somebody else to do it. We shouldn't. We should show leadership. We should innovate. This is legal. It works. Let's get on with it.